Okay, hello guys. We are from KSJ Consultant. And let me introduce us. My name is Subroto. And my name is Chiu. My name is Kevin. And for today, we are going to tell you about the special analysis of South Africa and three most unique cities in South Africa too. So, let's check it out. about the politics of South Africa. From 1994 until now, South Africa is a democracy country. Uh, that's because the Nelson Mandela stories. And the government of South Africa is divided uh, into several regions in this country. Pretoria uh, city is the capital of this country and also the administrative capital. Uh, and, and then this country has Cape Town as the legislative capital and Bloemfontein as the judicial capital in this country. Okay, this country political environment is often clouded by corruption, mismanagement, political intolerance. Uh, that's all makes the economic development of this country is slowing down. Economic sector. Uh, the economic of South Africa is the second largest in Africa and also the 34th largest in the world. Africa has uh, rich natural resources like gold, diamond, mineral, and metals. Also produce car and machinery exporting goods to many countries like US, UK, uh, China, Germany, and Saudi Arabia. So import uh, like machinery, equipment, chemical, petroleum, scientific instrument, and food material. Okay, South Africa is a multicultural country. Uh, they have uh, 11 official languages and Islamic Christianity and indigenous belief are the major religion in there. There are 50.7 million population in this country. Africa faces some big challenges today like high unemployment and the public health system. Okay, for the technology sector, so South Africa is one of the most technologically advanced country in Africa. A lot of international technology and social networking companies like Amazon, IBM, Microsoft, Facebook, and many others already operate in South Africa. And one more thing, online shopping is on the rise in South Africa. Now for the local environment in South Africa. South African government encourages the foreign investor to invest in many sector of economy in South Africa. However, there is many restrictions for foreign investors in some sectors. For example, in, in mining, in banking, telecommunication, broadcasting. There is some restriction for the foreign investors. In South Africa, also receive a fundamental protection. There is Employment Equity Act regulation that aims to the employment to achieve equality in the workplace. The environmental factor, South Africa is one of the most popular tourism destination in this world. In 2016, Cape Town is rated as the best city in the world. South Africa has a lot of tourism destination, a beautiful tourism destination. For example, there is abundant wildlife, scenic beauty, uh, brilliant beach filled with penguin, and many others. But this country also faces some environmental problem. For example, there is uh, air pollution, water pollution, and a lot of pollution in the city. And one more problem is about deforestation. Okay, next on we are going to talk about uh, three most unique cities in South Africa before we cut a special analysis from our consultant and now we are going to talk about it a three most unique city in South Africa okay first of all we are going to talk about Cape Town Cape Town is 
located in Western Capes, South Africa, and it was called like Kaapstad. Yeah, Kaapstad in Afrikaans language. And Cape Town is a major city of South Africa, and it was a largest cities in South Africa too. Yeah, like that. Uh, so Kaapstad or Cape Town it is. It was a home home base for most 64 percent of population in South Africa. Cape Town has a lot of potential to be an ecotourism places because uh, in Western Capes near and around Cape Town there was a lot of Cape Point and natural heritage place to go. Yeah it makes a Cape Town or a Western Capes around the Cape Town it is. It was a major destination for tourism to go there even at it was expatriate to go to South Africa or just a tourist. So for an example, it was one of the most visited cape in South Africa. It was called a cape of a good hopes or the good hopes or in Indonesia it called Tanjung Harapan. So it was the most visited because in the past we know all about VOC World Contested Tanjung Harapan. Okay, so after we got our share about Cape Town and South Africa with you, it was from our review, our own review, honestly, we going to tell you about this place, Cape Town. It was a recommended eco-tourism places to go because I think and because of a nature heritage and a lot of Cape Point that was so nature in South Africa around Cape Town it is it makes Cape Town was an eco tourism places to go in this world and after we are talking about Cape Town before of it and the next one coming the second part of three most unique cities in South Africa comes to Johannesburg. It was called Joburg in to make it simple and it was called a goalie in Zulu language. Zulu is like mm, traditional language who still use it in South Africa beside Afrikaans language it is. Joburg is no a one of three capital cities in South Africa but it was the most largest suburb in South Africa and not just in South Africa but Joburg is top 15 most biggest suburb in the world. Instead of that, Johannesburg, it was called or described in Africa, it was described as Africa's economics powerhouse. It's like a central district of economics activities around Africa, not just South Africa. So it was made Johannesburg the most economic central of district ec yeah, economic. Tell to you, it was a turban province in Kuala Zulu Natal, South Africa, and turban is called Etequini in Zulu language. Zulu, what I talked to you before, it was a traditionally languages from South Africa. And what I'm going to talk to you, Turpur is so beautiful because it was a coastal based city and it was uh, one of the third most populous cities in South Africa after Johannesburg and Cape Town it is. So, Durban is a subtropical climate and Durban is have uh, extensive beaches because it was a, have a subtropical climate and beaches around a city because it was a coastal city so it makes if you just love a beaches it was a very very nice place to go in search for an extra my own of opinion Durban is just look and feel like Miami in United States I think it's like that 
so it was a beautiful and it was an amazing awesome place to go and it was very unique oh okay, guys thank you for watching if you have some question for us just comment below yes and don't forget to like and comment our channel and thank you thank you, thank you.